along the railroad tracks in the industrial neighborhood of Mesilla Park in Las Cruces is Art Obscura. The mural in the building's exterior hints to the love for nostalgia and the spectrum of treasures inside the walls of this one-stop shop for antiques, local art, and the ultimate jackpot of rare finds. Running the gamut of retro relics and pop culture memorabilia to curios and collector's items, and objects ranging from the peculiar to the highly sought after variety, the artifacts here are a smorgasbord for hungry collectors and vintage aficionados. All of the items though, complement the art hanging on the walls. Generated by over 90 local artists, reflecting an underground outsider aesthetic and the passions of the duo behind it all. So Abby and Derek, you guys have quite a collection of eclectic cool stuff old and new. So how did this place kind of get started? Uh, really, I mean, it, it kind of started out of necessity. There wasn't anywhere around that I really felt catered to my likings, mm -hmm. our likings, and our friends. There's galleries around town, but there wasn't really one that we could go to and mm -hmm. see the artwork that we would you naturally see. So if you don't find it, you got to build it yourself. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I, I have to say, like, this area is kind of industrial and that kind of influence the style of art that you want to kind of to create? Well, it, it really fits in perfectly. I mean, we have a lot of uh, a lot of our antiques, you know, kind of fit in that industrial category. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it just kind of fits our surroundings. It just, it made sense. Where do you find all these random little trinkets and old historic? Because it's cool to juxtapose like these really cool kind of modern progressive art when then you have these old rusted license. trash cans and, <laughs> and old license plates and stuff so I knock on a lot of doors I drive down a lot of alleys yeah. you know and that that's how I've kind of find I go hunting for this stuff yeah, basically. Yeah, she's a treasure hunter. Yeah. <laughs> I help walk up to the gate because people are less terrified <laughs> of someone with a big beard. beard. She's very yeah. approachable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I'll go and knock on the door with him and ask if they want to sell that piece of junk that yeah. they might have that we love. It's pretty satisfying to get it back in here, mm -hmm. clean it, make it work, and then put it on display. I mean, and then really having somebody come in and see their eyes light up and get to try it out and like, wow, that, that's really satisfying for like me. Like after it's been fixed, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And I like putting it up on the wall. He's right. taught me how to hang stuff properly. There's a, there's like math involved and it's a whole <laughs> she, process. She's but really good at me. it. It's really, really fun. Good. Now it's fun to like display everything. Right. Even like these little cupboards, they all have little themes and mm -hmm. like everything's ornately placed in each place to like bring this whole scene together. Going back to the art, it's kind of like this comedic, satirical, but... A lowbrow, pop yeah. art, yeah. you know, yeah. that type of thing. And would you say there's a new genre of, of artists coming out of Las Cruces that are kind of trying to make a name for themselves now? Definitely. I feel like Las Cruces is kind of on the, the precipice of becoming a really important area for artwork, and mm -hmm. especially a certain type of artwork. You know, there's a kind of a common thread that you can see in the gallery, and, mm -hmm. you know, it, it goes through a lot of different artists. Another common thread for Darren and his peers can be seen in the workshop and back, where their artistry and talents for refurbishing lend themselves to more inspiring creations. Not only a mecca for visitors, Art Obscura is clearly the venue and clubhouse for the local art scene of Las Cruces. From live music to film and fashion shows, Art Obscura hosts events regularly. Check their website to see when their next gathering is taking place. Another great performance venue in town is the historic Rio Grande Theater on Main Street. Take a tour or go to one of their free performances every other Tuesday. And don't miss the city's most noted example of art and salvage material coming together, the iconic Roadrunner sculpture of I-10. 